Now we've been talking about extreme weather across much of the U.S. all week long. Now take a look at this. Mount Washington in New Hampshire had temperatures of 42 below zero yesterday. If we factor in the 120 plus mile per hour wind gust, it felt like under negative 100 degrees. The observatory on top of the mountain says this is the coldest temperature ever recorded there. Oh, those winds it's insane. look frightening. It and does. Have you ever seen the movie National Treasure? Yes. It reminds yes. me of that ship, the Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And even right now, it's not as intense, but it's still pretty awful there. If we take a live look right now at the observatory in Mount Washington, first off, I want to point out that little tent there. A couple minutes ago, I saw somebody standing outside of it. So there's somebody up there right now at that observatory. Temperatures right now in Mount Washington, negative 38 and still feels like negative 97, but record cold temperature yesterday with that wind chill of a negative 108. And we think it's cold in Cleveland. Look at these balmy numbers, 14 in Cleveland, 11 for Akron and Worcester. We have a southerly wind at around 15, 20 miles per hour. That is making it feel like sub-zero in many spots. Minus five, for example, in Mansfield, negative two for Cleveland. We've got a goose egg in uh, Millersburg. So it's definitely cold to start off your morning. Bundle up, keep the jacket with you because we are going to increase the numbers quite nicely. It's going to be more seasonable, not as cold as yesterday, getting into about the middle 30s or so. Plus, I think we'll get some sunshine throughout our daytime hours. Radar is looking quiet or at the any of that lake effect snow faded away because we have that southerly wind now and high pressure and control. You can always think of high pressure, high and dry. So it is going to be a dry weekend for the most part. Tomorrow there's a teeny tiny chance, maybe a 20, 30% chance, but overall it's gonna be pretty quiet. Notice how clear it is expected to be this afternoon. Around sunset, we start to pull in more clouds. So mostly cloudy conditions overnight. That's gonna help keep our temperatures a little bit more insulated tonight and into tomorrow. So they don't move much from our highs. We're gonna be in the middle 30s for our highs, upper 20s to low 30s for our lows. And the numbers continue to go up. We are on a trend of warming temperatures. So tomorrow looks like while we have an isolated shower chance, it's going to be getting into the middle 40s. So planning out the rest of your day here. It is cold outside right now, but temperatures climbing. You get to around freezing this afternoon. A quick rebound from where we were yesterday. Temperatures yesterday were in the 20s at midnight and then hung out in the teens the rest of the day. So it was really quite chilly. And for tonight, notice these lows around freezing. Not as cold, mostly cloudy. And tomorrow we'll have that isolated chance for a shower. But it does look like as we start to warm up our numbers a little bit, getting a taste of spring this week, it comes with rounds of rain as well. So you'll see a period of some showers, mainly in the afternoon on Tuesday, it's looking a break for Wednesday. And then late on Wednesday and into Thursday, our best shot for rain. That would continue into Friday. Temperatures will cool off. The exact timing of that, it might be Friday, it might be next Saturday. It'll be something we're monitoring because it is a week away. Notice how many warm days we have. Just for perspective, average high temperature 37. So basically this entire seven day except today is above average. All right, Katie, thank you. Today, the Cleveland